Hi everyone, this is Sina. Today let us see polity. In polity, today let us see amendment of the constitution. That is article 368. In this video, we are going to deal with introduction, procedure for amendment, types of amendments. First, let us see the introduction. Indian constitution provided us with the facility of amending the constitution in order to adjust with the changing time okay the procedure laid down for its amendment is neither too easy as britain or difficult as us that is indian constitution is neither flexible nor rigid but the synthesis of both article 368 in the part 20 of indian constitution deals with the power to amend the constitution and its procedure itself okay it can amend by addition variation or repeal any provisions of the constitution in accordance with the procedure laid down point to be noted here is it cannot amend those provisions which forms the basic structure of the constitution okay now let us see the procedure for amendment first Amendment can be initiated only by the introduction of bill for the purpose in either house of the parliament and not in the state legislature. 2. The bill can be introduced by a minister or by a private member and does not require any prior permission from the president. Okay. And the 3. The bill must be passed in each house by a special majority of total members of the house and a majority of two thirds of the members of the house and voting. 4. Each house must pass the bill separately and no joint sitting. If the bill, 5. If the bill is affecting the federal provisions, then it must be ratified by half of the states by a simple majority. 6. After passed by both the houses of the parliament and ratified by, uh, by state wherever necessary, the bill is presented to president. The president must give his assent to the bill. After president assent is given, the bill becomes the act. Now let us see types of amendments. Article 368 provides for two types of amendments. That is through special majority and through simple majority. Now let us see the special majority. Special majority can be seen in two types. That is amendment by two-third majority of the parliament and the second is amendment by two-third majority of the parliament plus ratification of half of the states now let us see the amendment by two-third majority of the parliament under this method the constitution can be amended by the union parliament alone for this purpose an amendment bill can be passed by each of the two houses of union parliament by a majority of its total membership and by two-third majority of the members present and voting in the each house. It is a rigid method in so far as it prescribes a special majority for amending the constitution. But it is considered as flexible method because under it the union parliament can alone pass any amendment. Now let us see the amendment by two-third majority of the parliament plus ratification of at least half of the states. First, the amendment bill is to be passed by both the houses of the parliament by majority of total membership and two-third majority of the members present and voting in each house. Secondly, after this, the amendment bill has to secure ratification from at least half of the states. Only then, it gets finally passed and incorporated as a part of constitution. When the president puts his signature on the bill, it becomes act. Now let us see the which can be amended by this. Election of the president, scope of executive power of the union, scope of executive power of the state, provisions regarding high court in the union territories, provisions regarding supreme court in India, provisions regarding high court in the states, legislative relations between union and state, any of the list in the seventh schedule, Representation of states in the parliament, provisions of article 368. 
Now let us see the simple majority. This refers, this refers to the majority of more than 50% of the members present and voting. A number of provisions in the constitution can be amended by the simple majority of, of two houses. These provisions include admission or establishment of new states, formation of new states and alteration of areas, boundaries or names of existing states. Abolition or creation of legislative council in the states, second schedule, allowances, privileges and so on of the president, governor, speaker, judge, etc. Quorum in the parliament, salaries and allowances of the member of the parliament. Rules of procedure in the parliament, sixth schedule, privileges of the parliament, its members and its committees, use of English language in the parliament. Number of judges in the Supreme Court, confirmment of more jurisdiction on Supreme Court, citizenship, acquisition and termination, elections to parliament and state legislature, delimitation of constituencies, union territories, fifth schedule, sixth schedule. Thanks for watching. There will be much more videos on the polity series. Thank you.